Okay, so in this video, we want to look at computing eigenvalues for two by two matrices. Uh, the content of this video will not include any intuitions or derivations of uh, this formula, for example, or what eigenvalues mean or what eigenvectors mean. We're just going to compute the eigenvalues, which are these constants lambda. Okay, so the formula is given by the determinant of a minus lambda times the identity is equal to zero. So let's first compute a minus lambda i. That's one, three, zero, four minus lambda zero, zero lambda. So what we have here is one minus lambda in the first entry, three, zero, and four minus lambda. Okay, so we compute the determinant of this matrix. So the determinant of a minus lambda i is equal to zero if and only if the determinant of 1 minus lambda, and then we'll have a 3 here, 0, 4 minus lambda. If this is equal to 0, we see that the determinant of this matrix is given by 1 minus lambda, 4 minus lambda, and that will be uh, 0. So in particular, we see that the eigenvalues are equal to one and four. Okay, let's look at another example. So here we have the eigenvalues of one, zero, minus one, and six. So what we'll have here is again, a minus lambda i. That's going to be 1 minus lambda, 0, minus 1, and 6 minus lambda. And so if we take the determinant of this matrix, so determinant A minus lambda I equals 0, that'll be true if and only if we take the determinant here. So we'll have 1 minus lambda, 6 minus lambda, and then this term will be 0. So we have this is zero. And so what we have is lambda equals one or lambda equals six. Okay, let's look at one last example. So here we have the matrix zero, one, minus one, zero. So then a minus lambda i is going to be minus lambda one, minus one, and minus lambda. So we want the determinant of a minus lambda i to be zero. And that means the determinant of this matrix here. So one minus one minus lambda equals zero. So what we end up with is lambda squared plus one equals zero. And this says that lambda is plus or minus i, where i is the square root of minus one. Okay, so that's it for this video. Uh, like I said before, we'll look at uh, the intuitions and meaning of eigenvalues and eigenvectors, as well as co further computations in later videos. But if you like this video, please hit the like button and consider subscribing if you want to see more of this content. There'll be notes and problems in the video description. And if you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave them in the comments section down below. Thanks guys.